The all new 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager at Law MacArthur Lincoln in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as optional equipment that's available on the reserve trim of the 2018 Lincoln Navigator. I think you're going to get a lot of use out of this. We'll go over first all the standard equipment around the outside, the inside, uh, front, rear, all those uh, kind of angles and around the vehicle and then we're also going to go ahead and talk about the optional equipment and uh, during that part of the video I will have the timestamps down below you can uh, click forward if you want to see those different packages and what's included with those as well as the prices on those two will be listed there so uh, definitely going to be a nice informative video for you so definitely don't forget to hit that like button there hit that subscribe hit that notification bell because we're going to also do one on the select and the Premier as we get some of those vehicles in stock that goes over the different equipment on those as well. So I think you'll like this video, so let's go ahead and get started and talk about the reserve trim on the 2018 Lincoln Navigator. First, let's talk about mechanical and safety. Now, this is going to come in two different lengths. You can get the either the regular length or the L, and all the reserves are going to come standard and four-wheel drive. Uh, so that's uh, those different two different configurations for the Lincoln Navigator. Now, they're all going to come with a 3.5-liter V6 twin turbocharged engine with 450 horsepower, 500 foot-pound of torque. And if you get this with the new the heavy duty trailer tow package, it's going to have best in class towing for any luxury large SUV in its class. So I think you're going to really appreciate all the towing and the functionality. This 3.5 with that 10 speed automatic transmission with select shift, lots of power on it. I think you're really going to appreciate that. Now that does, uh, as I mentioned, have the 10 speed automatic transmission. That select shift is going to be those paddle shifters you're going to have right behind the steering wheel. So that way you can go in that select shift mode if you want to uh, shift it uh, up and down like a manual transmission, you have that capability right there on the steering wheel. Also, this is going to come with the adaptive suspension. In the previous years, you might have known it as continuously controlled dampening suspension, but it's going to help you uh, help you out. It's going to adjust things on the fly so quickly uh, for that suspension, so you're going to have that nice, smooth ride. Also, it's going to have e-pass. That's that electronic power assist steering. And what's great about that is that when you're in those driveways and those tight uh, parking spaces and everything, it's going to steer real nice and easy. But when you're on the highway, it's going to stiffen it up so that way the wind doesn't blow you side to side. So uh, you're gonna, that's going to come uh, standard on this too. Now let's talk about safety. This is going to have a personal safety system. What's great about the personal safety system is that it's going to protect everyone there in the vehicle. And the personal safety system for the you know, front row specifically, uh, because it's going to have a dual stage airbag for the driver and front passenger. What that means is it's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the steering wheel and there's going to be sensors on those front seats to be able to tell that and, and tell how far you are from the steering wheel. Also you're going to get side impact airbags too so it's going to protect those uh, front and position seats, the driver and front passenger from those side collisions there. Also, you're going to have the safety canopy airbag with roll, uh, rollover sensors. So it's going to deploy those uh, airbags coming down to protect the side from the glass uh, and such breaking uh, from for everybody uh, in the vehicle on the, that are on those side outside seats there. Also, it's going to have the advanced track with roll stability control. And that's going to try to help you so that we won't have a rollover, hopefully. And it's going to really help you stay on your intended path. So it's going to use, uh, in milliseconds, it's going to adjust the brakes and, and the power on the, all the wheels to help keep you on your intended path in those slick driving situations. Now, for some reason, you are happen to maybe get off of the road uh, and you're in an accident, it's going to have this SOS post-crash alert system. So what it's going to do is it's going to honk the horns, it's going to flash a light. So people that are driving by are going to be able to see that you're off the road and be able to and tell that so that way they can come to your safety and help you out uh, in those situations. So again, great performance on this vehicle and some great safety. Now, here at the front, you're going to see they kind of uh, brought over some of the Continental uh, look to this Navigator, and I like that they've done that across the board. It does have your Lincoln Repeating Star uh, grill up here. It's chrome grill with a chrome surround. Also has a chrome accent under both sides under those fog lights there. We do have all LED lights in this vehicle. So you have your LED headlights. They're automatic. They come on automatically as it gets dark. Also, uh, you're going to have your LED fog lights down here and you're going to have your LED signature lighting underneath. Uh, now, they have brought that over just like on the other vehicles with that welcome sequence. Now, they call the Lincoln Embrace, and we'll tell you some of the other features that you get with the Lincoln Navigator uh, that you don't see on some of the 
others uh, here in just a little bit. Also, it's going to get your front sensing system up here, as well as your reverse sensing and 360 degree camera. So now you're going to have a camera on the front grill that's standard equipment on all your reserves. Actually, I think even select and above, as well as the back camera and the cameras on the mirror. So that way, when you're backing up the vehicle on that left side of that screen, you're going to see your backup camera. On the right side, you're going to see a 360 degree view of the vehicle. So that comes in real handy backing up, pulling into those parking places and those um, malls, the stores, that kind of thing there too. So I think you'll uh, get a really good use out of that. And also if you're pulling in, you're in drive, you just hit that camera button, it'll turn it on. Uh, hit that button again, whether you're in front or reverse, and it's going to give you a full view of that front or backup camera. So I think you'll really love the look of that there too. So now let's go ahead and talk about the Lincoln Embrace. Now the Lincoln Embrace is a series of LED lights around the vehicle to really welcome you to the vehicle. And in the reserve, you get a couple extra nice uh, welcome sequences. Now one thing you're gonna see at the front of the vehicle as you approach is these, those two LED lights that fade up underneath the headlights. You're also gonna see the Lincoln Star start glowing as well. So that nice big Lincoln Star in the middle of the grill is gonna glow. Also your door handles are gonna light up with those LED uh, lighting in those, as well as your running boards are gonna deploy down for you with illuminated uh, running boards, so you're gonna be able to see those at night. And even if you approach the vehicle from behind, you're gonna have the LED tail lights light up, and then the Lincoln welcome mat on, beside the vehicle. Just a great way to really welcome you to the vehicle. Now moving to the side, the standard wheel on these is a 22 inch, a 16 spoke, uh, tarnished dark aluminum wheel. So a real sharp looking wheel in itself. But we did upgrade this vehicle with this uh, only optional wheel you can get on the reserve, this six spoke um, bright or ultra bright is what they call that machine aluminum wheel. And it does have your nice premium painted uh, pockets. So on both sides of the, the bright uh, section there, you're gonna have the uh, dark premium painted uh, accent there. So that's a real nice looking optional wheel that we upgraded this vehicle to. Also you're going to get the Lincoln, the Navigator I should say, badging here on the side. Like you saw with the Continental, and I really love that they're doing that on all their across the line as they bring out new models uh, and new uh, re redesigns for the vehicles I should say. They're going to start incorporating that on all those vehicles. Also you do have some nice mirror features. You're going to have a ebony painted uh, mirror cap here with a nice accent chrome accent in there. Also integrates into that LED uh, light there, those turn signal lights on the outside so people know that you're wanting to turn. Also it's going to get your power heated glass of course and auto dimming driver side view mirror. And the auto dimming mirror is going to just, just like it sounds, it's going to dim that mirror if somebody with some bright lights are going to pass you on the highway. Uh, that's going to automatically dim it for you which makes it really nice and convenient. Also you're going to see it is folded in. It does have the power fold mirrors. And so what's great about the power fold mirrors is that when you use this with the intelligent access, uh, works real nicely because it's, as you can see, it's automatically folded in. When you use intelligent access to unlock the vehicle uh, with that key fob in your pocket, it's going to deploy the running board and allow you to unlock the vehicles. And you can set up your settings to unlock just the driver's door or all the doors. And with the d power deployable boards, what I like about those is it deploys those running boards a little lower than most of your running boards on your SUVs. Uh, also make it a little bit easier for even the kids to get in and out of the vehicle. Also with these, when, it, when they tuck underneath, it's gonna protect the top of those running boards from snow, sand, ice getting stuck to the top of those running boards, make it a little bit safer to get in and out of the vehicle. And when they're tucked underneath, it also with the, does have the ebony accent there, it's going to look real sharp too on the vehicle. So I really love the look of those and I like how those work. Also, when you go ahead with the power fold mirrors and you get in the vehicle, it's going to automatically fold the mirrors out into place from the last driver that drove the vehicle. So it's going to adjust those power mirrors as well along with that. And then when you get to your destination and you lock the vehicle just by pressing the ridges on any of the doors, it's going to lock the vehicle up and it's going to auto fold that mirror back into place. So it really kind of helps get those uh, so they don't get banged up in those parking lots and such. Uh, so I really like that. Now this does have your bliss also with cross traffic alert. And so the bliss is the blind spot information system. So if there's someone in your blind spot, which there's, it can be a big blind spot with this vehicle, it's going to put a light in the mirror on that side to let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, it uses cross-traffic alert. So if someone's going to cross your path from behind you, it's going to put a light on the side of the mirror from where they're coming from. Also puts a message on the dash telling the same thing in a series of tones and it's not safe to back up. Uh, really love that feature, especially with this uh, Lincoln Navigator. It's going to come in real handy for you. Uh, also, this does have your keypad here on the pillar, and it's illuminated, uh, it kind of goes away after a little bit. Uh, what's nice about that is you can use your own special code to be able to access the vehicle if you don't have the keys on you, or maybe you want to leave the keys inside, you'll be able to unlock and lock the vehicle using your own special code. 
And with the remote as well, not only can you uh, uh, just have that in your pocket and automatically unlocks the vehicle, but also with that you can unlock and lock the vehicle. You can also use the uh, uh, remote start on it too. So you can just lock the vehicle, hit the remote start twice, and it's going to start it right up for you. Just press the uh, remote again and it shuts it off. Now you can set up with the remote start to run for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, or 15, and I believe you can cycle that through two times uh, in a morning. But even better yet, you can use the Lincoln Connect. And the Lincoln Connect helps you connect to the vehicle using a Lincoln Way app. Uh, I love this feature because it uses a remote start. So you can remote start the vehicle from anywhere using that app. So it does have a modem in the vehicle. So now you can schedule remote start times. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from a distance. You can find your vehicle. A lot of things that you can do through that Lincoln Way app, even schedule service to set up your concierge service. Uh, so great features and I, that's a free app you can download, real easy to use. And then along with that, you're going to get your Wi-Fi hotspots for up to 10 devices, uh, which comes in real handy. Now you have seat seat 7 in this vehicle, uh, so you can easily connect everyone to the uh, vehicle. Uh, and there's some very affordable plans. After three months and uh, three gigabytes of data used, you can get some nice affordable plans through AT&T that Lincoln has set up. So I think you really like that feature as well. It's a great feature on this vehicle. Now let's talk about a little bit more of the styling here. It's going to have your chrome roof rack rails up here, also the chrome accent on the belt line here as well as your door handles and the molding down here on the lower part of the door. So real sharp look. Also it's going to give you the privacy glass on these back windows. It's going to keep it cooler for those in the second and the third row and it just looks real sharp and nice on the vehicle as well. And then nice ebony uh, finish on these panels here on the pillars that I really like that really kind of finish off the vehicle uh, here on the outside. Now moving to the back, this does have a body colored rear spoiler here and I really love the look of this uh, re re redesign here with a nice black accent here on the, these pieces, these uh, back pillars here. Rear defrost with rear wiper and this glass does pop separate from the rest of the lift gate just like they did in previous years. And you're going to find the switch under the eye, right under here under your LED tail lights back here. Just press it and it's going to release it so that that can open up. And you're going to see it's going to open up even the rear uh, spoiler up here. So open that up so you can get inside. Put those last items in the top uh, on, the, on there and then it shuts real nice and easy too. And then, of course, we're going to talk about the rest of the lift gate in just a little bit. Nice chrome Lincoln lettering across here, and I like the chrome accent as well that it sits on top with the LED lights that go clear across the back there. And then also LED backup lights too, so all LEDs around the vehicle. You're going to have your rear view camera with reverse sensing, as we talked about already. So as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you as well as completely around the vehicle. And it's going to alert you if you get too close to anything. Also, this does have some nice chrome accents that come around here on both sides. And then you do have a high gloss finish down under here. So like in previous years, uh, when you had that, that, I think the monochrome package where you got the black accent down there, you're going to get that with this vehicle, the standard equipment on your reserve. And it is going to have your tow hitch down here. So it's going to be the trailer tow prep package. So it's going to be ready for that heavy duty trailer tow package if you want to add that to this vehicle. So you're going to get the trailer hitch with the wiring connectors down there uh, to be able to uh, tow those uh, different trailers. Now this does have your power lift gate. You can use your remote to power that up. Just hit that remote twice, or it does have the hands free uh, lift gate. So just foot activated. So we just give it a kick and it's going to go ahead and open it up as you can see. So it works out really nicely. Uh, just straight in the middle, just a straight kick. You don't have to wave it around under there. Now here in the back, this is the L. So you do have a little bit uh, extra extended length back here. So that's going to be really nice to be able to uh, manage some cargo in here, give you a little extra room in here. Also, you're going to have, I'm going to go ahead and take these floor mats out of here. Now this is going to come standard with your floor mats for the front as well as the second row uh, foot wells. So we're going to take those out. Also standard equipment is going to be the cargo mat back here. Uh, so what's great about that is it's reversible. So one side is kind of an all weather, on the other side is carpet and it's going, to, it's going to go in here on this back. It's not going to go over the seats. So that way if you have the seats up you don't have to worry about that mat falling forward on top of your luggage and such. This is going to actually looks like from what I could tell it is going to extend over this uh, cargo area here. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. Now we kind of talked about that. So you can kind of get a good view of the rear cargo area. There is a compartment in here where you can fold this up, uh, give you some access in here. Uh, also it does get access here to the, uh, the, the jack right there uh, as well. And then it does have a cargo netting and they, they put it in here. Uh, it can go in some other places. But what's great about this is if you pull these little click, uh, these little hooks down here as well as these loops, you can put that cargo netting back there 
put all those small items in there, balls, that kind of thing, and that way they won't roll around and bother you in the back or tear up the inside of your cargo area. And you can store it under here as well, and there's also a compartment on the left side you can store it in there uh, if you want. It actually stores really nicely in there and still give you some uh, nice cargo under there. And there's some spots on both sides of the vehicle too with a power point over here uh, as well. Now this does have your third row seat. Now this does have rear independent suspension, so you're going to get that great ride. Also, because of that, those in the third row seat are going to get lots of leg room and you can fold that seat flat into the floor. Now the headrests are actually down on this because I did fold them down to test it out, but uh, if they are up, it will automatically fold those headrests down so you don't have to pull any straps like in the previous years, and it's gonna power fold flat to the floor. You can pick the left, right, or both. So let's go ahead and hit the both. So we'll just hit the button. Just hit it once and then let it go, and it's gonna go ahead and fold it completely flat into the floor, and I just heard it uh, release those uh, headrests, uh, but then since they were already down, it, it, it went ahead and folded it. And so completely flat in here. Also from up here, or from back here, I should say, you can also fold those seats down. So if you have something a little bit longer than what you can fit in here, you need a little bit extra room, you can hit the uh, button right there. To I'll pick the left one, and it's going to go ahead and fold and lay that headrest down. So that way you have a complete low level clear up to those front seats up there. So now uh, we'll get into interior configurations in a little bit, but if you have a select, uh, actually it would come without a second row uh, console there, so you wouldn't have that in the way. So if you could even put, I think, almost an eight foot length of plywood in there, and it would probably fit. So lots of cargo room in here that I think you'll appreciate inside the vehicle. Now let's talk about the interior. A lot of different configurations on the interior in a way of color trims. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through those. There's four different options for the reserve. And one of those is your ebony interior. Now that when we talk about the ebony environment, we're talking about the dash uh, above the glove box on your doors. Also, it's going to have your ebony leather seats. And then it's going to have your Santos Rosewood appliques. You're going to see that across your dash on your door inserts, your console, and here on the steering wheel. So that's your wood appliques in the vehicle. Now also you have the, the cappuccino interior. Now cappuccino is gonna be your cappuccino environment as well as your cappuccino leather seats. And it's gonna have that uh, espresso ash swirl wood appliques instead of the rosewood. And then also you have your dark slate. So the dark slate's gonna be, the environment's gonna be the dark slate. And then your seats are gonna be a medium slate. And then you're gonna have that slate ash swirl uh, look to it. So it's a kind of a dark ash uh, swirl appliques on the, on the vehicle. Now the other one that's optional or it's available that's not available on any other trims uh, is a russet. So it's going to have your ebony environment with a russet leather seats and it's going to have the same uh, wood appliques in the vehicle as well. So you're going to see that uh, just like you're seeing here this nice uh, Santos rosewood appliques. So that is uh, available, not available in any other of the trims. So that, that russet interior is also available. Uh, now, looking across the dash, I really love the look because you have nice ebony accents, uh, high gloss accents around your controls, also along the dash, and I love the look of that uh, right under that wood accent, a nice chrome accent above that, uh, the wood appliques, uh, even has some nice chrome accents at just the right places. Uh, I love the high gloss finish across here above your glove box too that incorporates your push button uh, shift buttons there and uh, just a different look and feel even here a high gloss finish and just a real nice uh, look throughout the vehicle that I think you really appreciate. It does have your premium leather seating surfaces and uh, the front seats up here are going to get a 24 way perfect position seat so it's going to have individual thigh extenders left and right as well as the headrest is going to automatically be able to go up and down forward and back even has a shoulder and that's the one that I think I like the most is adjust that shoulder uh, forward as well because a lot of times I I like to have the seat back, uh, but then I move the, my shoulders up a little bit. So I love that feature. Power lumbar as well, and it does have memory for three different positions. And that's not only just the driver's seat, but also the front passenger is going to get driver memory for three different positions too. And then uh, also you're going to get heated and ventilated seats. And the reason I say ventilated is because they're not cooled anymore. So there's not a cooling agency cooling off the seat. It actually is going to pull the air through the seats cooling them off. So that's also, not only is it going to be quieter, uh, but you don't have to worry about any kind of condensation underneath the seats with those. Now the rear seats back here are going to be bucket seats with the floor console. And so those outside seats are going to get heated seats 
and they also have buttons to be able to access real easily to the third row seat which we're going to talk to you about in just a little bit also back here lots of controls for them back there they have here on the back of the console they can control the power sunshade up here on the moon on the moon roof we're going to talk about in just a little bit also rear climate control for them back there there's a tri-zone auto climate control in this also they can control the audio back there so the rear audio system they're on the console with two cup holders they have a nice little armrest for those both those seats on the outside have individual armrests with a nice compartment that they can put some uh, things in there and even a little compartment underneath the console uh, it's a nice storage area under there too uh, and then they have lots of power devices behind this console you have two USB ports a PowerPoint and a 110 outlet back there so easy way to be able to power all those different devices for those on those long trips there in the back now the third row seat as I mentioned you can get access by pressing the auto fold seat button to get access to the back seat back there 60 40 split bench seat those seats are a luxury soft touch seat back there uh, also those seats do have power recline for the, both of those seats which is really nice and there's also smart USB on on both sides of the uh, the car compartment back there so the two outside seats are going to have the uh, controls back there or a USB port for them back there as well. Now here in the front seat you do have the power windows, locks, mirror switches including auto one touch for one all four of the windows not only down but also up uh, and also power fold mirror switch there too. Now this does have your power adjustable pedals with power tilt and telescoping steering wheel so the pedals will electronically go forward and back and the steering wheel electronically go up and down as well as forward and back. And what's great about this with all the power settings with the steering wheel and the pedals and the mirrors and the seat, this does have that driver memory goes along with remembering all those uh, configurations for the driver. And it goes real nicely with the easy entry and exit seat. So when you're getting out of the vehicle, it's going to move the seat back and the steering wheel up. As you can see now, I'm really far back away from the steering wheel. But when I hit that push button start to start it, it's going to move this, the steering wheel and the seat into position of the last driver. Uh, and since I probably haven't adjusted it, as you can see, it's not doing that. So let me go ahead and adjust that and hit the memory seat there. And so then when you shut the vehicle off, it's going to move the steering wheel, as you can see, not only up but back and the seat back, making it a little bit easier to get in and out of the vehicle. So I really love how that all works really well with the memory features there. Also here on the uh, this steering wheel is a leather wrapped heated steering wheel as well. And it's going to have your cruise control on the left side of the steering wheel with Bluetooth and audio controls on the right side of the steering wheel. Also has your navigation controls right there as well. And then there's some controls up there for the new 12-inch LCD screen. So it's a configurable screen, uh, all digital as well. So just looks sharp. You can uh, configure that in different ways. Uh, you have your speedometer, your tachometer. You can control other different uh, features that you can have right there on that screen too. And just looks real sharp in this vehicle with this, that nice 12-inch uh, digital screen there. I uh, have your push button start right here. Also, the climate control. I uh, like just like in the Continental, when you have the vehicle turned off, you can't see any of the words or the emblems from the climate control because it uses LED backlighting. So when we do hit the push button start to start it, it's going to light up those buttons. So you can uh, it does have your dual zone auto climate control. You don't have to worry about those buttons wearing off over time because they're not uh, they're not etched on or painted onto those buttons. So uh, some great benefits from having the nice screen, the L, the backlighting, I should say, for these buttons here. And then dual zone auto climate control so the driver and front passenger can have two different temperatures and also you control your uh, rear climate buttons are right here the audio buttons I should say are right there as well uh, for them now you also see the push button shift uh, right above that and then above your vents is going to be the 10 inch LCD screen so instead of an 8 you're going to have a 10 inch now and it has that sync 3 system where you can control your audio your phone and your navigation through this touch screen here also can control your heated seat buttons there too uh, and then the navigation does have the pinch to zoom capabilities now uh, of course uh, sync, uh, sync 3 has had that for over a year now I actually have a video on our YouTube channel under the how-to videos if you know exactly how the system works you can see that right in there uh, so real nice and easy to use also you do have apps uh, several different things with that travel link in there as well so you can see those gas prices any kind of accidents it'll help you avoid you around those and then in the settings these, this is really great a lot of different settings along with 911 assist so that way if you get in an accident you're not able to if you're not conscious or something it's going to call 911 for you and it knows that your location so it can bring somebody so that's always a nice safety feature also ambient lighting can, can be controlled right through here um, right now it's on the white but if I can change it to the red it's going to light up your cup holders also it's going to light up the footwells and the door compartments when you have your headlights on uh, so real nice changing that right through there 
Plus also has your personal profiles. And this is new for any Lincoln vehicle. You can set up personal profiles. And what it's going to allow you to do is control all those different settings. Not only the settings for your memory seat, but also for your audio and your climate control. So if you're a person that likes certain controls, uh, like I like my, uh, my vehicle temperature at 72 all the time. I like certain radio stations. If the other person gets in and uses that driver memory and changes that button, it's going to change your audio and your climate settings to that particular profile. So I really love this system. Uh, this is a new uh, for 2018. I think you really like it. And then don't forget your uh, 360 degree camera and backup cameras and front cameras are going to all come into view in this full 8 inch screen right here. Or I'm used to seeing 8 inch, but it's a 10, 10 inch screen here. So I think you really like that and how that, that system works uh, real nicely. And I love the look of it as well. Now up here in the mirror, you get auto dimming rear view mirror. Also on the visor, you're going to get garage door openers for three different garage doors. And here on the overhead console, hopefully you can get a good view of this. It does have a little mirror you can flip down so you can see those in the back seat. So that's uh, real nice to be able to, to see them. Also, it does have a sunglass holder, so you can put those sunglasses in there as well right there. And then you're going to see the controls for your panoramic Vista roof. Uh, now, this one's going to have that power sunshade, so you can press that. And again, in the back, I mentioned they have controls back there that opens that sunshade. It stops it uh, halfway back. You hit that button again. It's going to go on back and open it completely up with the uh, power roof as well. So you can open that roof up and give you a full view uh, to the sky above. Uh, so that's also real nice. And it's Big, big moon roof as well, opening it up um, pretty nicely that I think you really like that feature there too. So uh, they've done a really good job. Let's talk about some of the compartments. I'll go ahead and shut this off. Uh, we'll talk about them. Uh, open this first one up here, and I like this one. It has two smart USB ports in here. And smart USB means, you know, if you have those smartphones, you can plug those in, charge the smartphones using USB ports. Also has a wireless charging pad right here too. So if you have, if you're driving down the road, you can put your wireless phone right against there if it uh, has that capabilities, and it's going to charge your phone, so you don't have to use those USB ports. Also, you're going to have your cup holders over here with a little coin tray right there. You put some little coins in there, uh, and then here is where you're going to see your auto. Um, the start stop technology where you can shut that off as well as an auto hold button. An auto hold button will hold the brake for a short period of time if you want to transition from the brake to the gas or maybe you want to relax your foot at a stoplight or something like that you can hit that button and then you're, you can also shut off your backup sensors and the reason you might want to do that is if you're backing up to a trailer uh, you know that's, that's back there you, you don't really need that to activate it and then your drive modes you're going to adjust those with this dial right here as well. And then the console, two individual armrests for the driver and front passenger. Open this up. It does have a tray in here where you can maybe put a, tray, a little pin in there so it won't whirl around in there and some other smaller items. And then a big uh, compartment in here. Again, it can go down to my elbow. It does have another power point in there. Again, I mentioned there's four power points in the vehicle. Uh, so a lot of compartments in there and nice big console as well there. Uh, even your doors have little trays here to put some smaller items in. Also two bottle holders. Uh, for the driver and front passenger and I think even the back seats have a bottle holder they do uh, in those in those two doors as well so a lot of storage around the vehicle they've really thought about it even includes a big one right here where you can put that purse uh, in there or some big items uh, maybe even a work bag uh, maybe a laptop bag and such I think will fit in there because it actually is cut clear up through here so it'll go through there so you could put that bag right in there as well and so again they've thought about everything I really love the interior look of the Lincoln Navigators and so far everything I've talked about is standard equipment across the board. I think you'll really appreciate this. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about some optional packages and when I say packages it includes several different items in them uh, together as part of that package and one of the packages is going to be the carbo cargo package. Uh, what's great about uh, 2018 you're going to get this little tiered system so it's a way to really uh, manage your cargo. It's a, a four-way partition uh, that you can really tear out your rear cargo area and help you with luggage management and such especially on those long trips with bags. Uh, you have different size bags and everything so it really help you manage that and with the extended length it really helps out with the, having that cargo management system. Also to go along with that you're going to get the uh, crossbars that are going to go on the roof rack side rails and so that's going to be able to manage any of those larger suitcases you you might have as well if you have you know especially a family of six or seven uh, it's going to really help you out there now the other package is going to be your heavy duty 
uh, trailer tow package. We talked about it earlier, having the best in class trailer tow uh, with this package. What it's gonna really help out is if you are pulling those heavy trailers, uh, you're gonna have five, five items that really help you out with that. And one of those is gonna be electronic traction assist. Uh, so that's gonna really help you out, especially in, you know, pulling a boat or something like that, it's going to help out with that traction as you're pulling that boat maybe out of the water and such. Or if you're getting started with those uh, heavier trailers as well. Also, you're going to get an upgraded uh, radiator too, a heavy-duty radiator. And so that's going to really help out, especially if you're, you're pulling that, that heavy trailer. You're going to want that heavy-duty radiator to be able to handle that so that you, you don't worry about that engine overheating or anything. Also, you're going to have a two-speed uh, transfer case, too. So, of course, all your uh, reserves are going to have a four-wheel drive, so you're going to have that two-speed transfer case to go along with that. And then you're going to have in the integrated trailer brake controller as well as that Pro Trailer Backup Assist, which is really nice because now you don't have to worry about do I steer it left or right to move the trailer just right. You actually just steer the trailer with it. So uh, you just use that knob, and you're going to be able to turn that and be able to control that trailer. Let's talk about the technology package. Now this package includes six features that are not really only just technology, but also safety features. So I think you'll really appreciate this package. Uh, now one of those is gonna be your lane keeping system. Now this isn't just an alert system. It will alert you as you leave your lane, but also it's gonna help aid you in staying in your lane too. So it's gonna come in real handy, especially on the highways, but it does work in the city as well. Uh, also, to go along with this, you do have the adaptive cruise control. And the adaptive cruise control is going to help you uh, with that cruise. So if you have that cruise set and you pull it behind someone, they're going slower than you are, it's going to slow you down to go their speed, keep that safe distance behind them. When you pass them or they speed back up and it's clear for you to speed up, it's going to go ahead and automatically speed that up. So you don't have to hit your brakes, don't have to use your brakes near as much on the highway. Uh, I really like that system and how that works. And you can control the gap distance of what's comfortable for you as you approach those vehicles. So I think you'll appreciate that. Also, this does have your collision warning uh, with uh, the pre-collision warning with pedestrian detection. So what I like about that is the newest system that Lincoln has out and it's going to actually help you if the car in front of you is stopped or there's a pedestrian that crosses you, it's going to warn you with a series of lights on the dash and a series of tones that, that person has stopped and, and warn you with that. Also, it's going to activate. It has autonomous emergency braking system. So it's going to go ahead and start initiating that brake for you as well uh, to stop that vehicle so that way uh, you don't hit that pedestrian or hit that car in front of you. So I'll love that system as well. Also, this has your, adapt, your, your auto park assist or the active park assist. So it's going to help you find and parallel park your vehicle. So if you're looking for those parallel parking spaces, whether it be on the left side or right side, if you're on a one-way street, you turn that turn signal on, it's going to help you find a big enough spot. It's going to take care of all the steering while you control the gas and the brake. It's a great system, especially with a larger SUV like this. It's going to really help you out in those situations. This also comes with auto high beam in this package. The auto high beam, just like your automatic headlights, they're gonna come on automatically if there's not a car in front of you and it's a safe distance uh, with that approaching vehicle to turn those uh, headlights on, or the auto high beams on, I should say. And so that way, uh, if there's a car approaching or you're in the city, it's gonna go ahead and automatically dim those, uh, those auto headlamps. So I really love that system and you can de deactivate in the settings if you like everything else about this package. Also, the last feature is new uh, for any of the vehicles that I've seen it on, and it's the heads-up display. And I've heard a lot about this. I can't wait to get a vehicle in, then I can see how this works. But what I've heard is that it casts that heads-up display not just on the lower part of the windshield, but it makes it look like it's actually out here at the end of the hood. And it's going to give you your speed. It's also going to give you the navigation settings. So if you have that navigation set for that destination, you don't have to look down at your screen. It's going to have that next turn right up there and show you. So it really just looks like you're right there on the road and those there's someone just pointing your way right where you need to turn and so again I can't wait to get one in so we can see how that system works as well so this is a really nice package uh, again with a couple features that are new for 2018 Let's talk about standalone options, and one of those is the wheel. We already talked about earlier the optional six-spoke wheel. It's a nice, uh, bright, ultra-bright machine aluminum wheel with the premium painted pockets there. And that, again, like we have on this vehicle, is optional equipment. It's the only other wheel option on the reserve. Uh, also, here in the front seat, you now can uh, upgrade, if you want, from the 24-way uh, perfect position seat to a 30-way. And the 30-way is going to give you some extra settings. It's going to give you more lumbar settings in that vehicle, or in the seat there. It's going to be able to control several spots in that backrest as well as the active motion, which is your massaging seat feature. So uh, it's going to be able to massage not only the seat cushion, but also the seat back. So that's going to be really nice in those long road trips uh, with the heated seats. It's going to be perfect uh, for you. I think you'll really like that. And that's the driver and front passenger is going to get that. 
Also, you're going to have different audio controls. You can get a, a single CD player. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't, actually didn't mention the CD player because a C single CD player is optional equipment on the Lincoln Navigator. So uh, that is something, and if you do get that, it's going to go in the console. Also, the Revel Ultima audio sound system. It upgrades from that Revel audio sound system uh, from 14 speakers to a 20-speaker audio sound system. Now, if you do get the uh, Revel Ultima, it will come with the CD player, by the way. That is going to be included in that package. So, real nice. And it really upgrades it. and gives you even better acoustic sound uh, in this vehicle. And I think you're really going to appreciate the overall sound quality that you get uh, with that Revel Ultima audio sound system. Let's talk about the second row seating configuration here. Now, it is going to come standard with the reserve with these bucket seats with the floor console, as we talked about earlier. Also, it's available is you can have the pass-through, which means there will be no console here, making it easier for those uh, kids to get back to the uh, third row seat back there. Also, the other configuration you can get as option equipment is that 40-20-40 split bench seat here in this uh, front seat, or this seat up here, which means that you're going to be able to seat eight in this vehicle three in the middle seat, three in the back seat. So and you're still going to have the power fold uh, access on these two outside seats. You're going to get the bucket seats with an actual seat that actually is going to be positioned here. So uh, those are your configurations that you can have as optional equipment uh, with this uh, the reserve. Also, the optional equipment I want to talk about now is this the Play system, the Lincoln Play. And what's great about this is these nice big screens there. I believe they are the same size as the screens up there, so I think they're a 10 inch screen uh, for these uh, dual screens on these headrests, and they're very sturdy. And I've heard that they can adjust up and down and they can handle a lot of weight, so don't worry about the kids pulling on them or anything. I've heard that they're, uh, they're totally covered and, and they're going to be uh, very quality uh, headrests. They said they've, they've tested them very thoroughly because that was something we asked at the different trainings that we had with the screens of how durable they are. And they said they've tested them up to about two or three hundred pounds, I believe. So real nice screens uh, for this. And what's great about these is they'll play two different uh, devices or two different types of audio. You can plug in your HDMI, USB. So if you have some audio, video, or photos on a USB, uh, also SD card can go into these slots over here too. And uh, so it's several different sources. In fact, if you go ahead, uh, let me click sources. I'm going to play around with this uh, screen a little bit. You can also uh, scroll down. There is also a sling player. So if you have a sling player, that will actually work. Uh, Mirrorcast as well as SmartStream. Now, SmartStream, when you use it, uh, is going to actually use your Wi-Fi from the Lincoln. So you actually download the Lincoln Play app. Uh, which is also another free app and you can put different things on there and it's going to stream right through here to these uh, rear DVD players so that's uh, going to be really nice to be able to use that and for those kids to be able to stay entertained there also when you back up here go ahead and back up you do have a mirror and what mirror is going to do is if that screen is playing a certain one and this screen wants to see it it can hit the mirror and it's going to see exactly what that screen over there is seeing so if you have uh, one DVD and they want to see it too uh, they can mirror the screens and be able to see that uh, as well and so some great features on this uh, I just really love the uh, 10 inch screens and so this is actually uh, optional equipment as well that's available on your Lincoln uh, Navigator so that's all your standard as well as optional equipment for the reserve trim for the 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Now let's talk about warranties. This does get a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. Uh, also a six year, 70,000 mile powertrain warranty. Also, it's going to get a four-year, 50,000-mile pickup and delivery, and that's concierge service. What's great about that is if you live within 30 miles, you could use that Lincoln Way app if you want to schedule your service. We'll pick your Lincoln vehicle up from your house, work, whatever it might be, leave you a Lincoln loaner for the day, bring your vehicle in, service it, detail inside and out, and bring it back to you. So that's something we provide uh, as a pickup and delivery for all uh, services that you might have at the Lincoln dealership here. Uh, if you don't live within 30 miles or maybe you want to bring your vehicle in yourself, uh, not a problem. You still get those same benefits of having a Lincoln loaner as well as a Lincoln clean. So maybe you want to run some errands in town, drop the vehicle off for that, that oil change. We'll give you a Lincoln vehicle to drive, go on your errands. Uh, we'll get it, we'll service it, detail it, let you know when it's ready, come back, pick your vehicle up, and make it nice and easy for you. So I think you're going to find that pickup delivery is going to be a, just a really nice luxury feature uh, to have on all your Lincoln vehicles. So I think you'll really appreciate that. Uh, also, uh, don't forget, you can check out our website, LamaCarthonLincoln.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures as well as this video will be there on each of our uh, Lincoln vehicles, as well as you can pull up these original window stickers uh, right there on the website too. So you can see that standard equipment at the top, 
plus the optional equipment that was ordered on that particular vehicle. So I think you'll really appreciate that. You're also going to see that MSRP price and our discounted price. And, and the reason I say that is here at Law MacArthur and Lincoln, uh, we make things not effortless just in your service, but also in purchasing the vehicle. So we're going to make this smooth and easy for you. Uh, you go right there on the website, you can see the MSRP price and your price. And that is going to be, your internet price is going to be better than any other Lincoln dealership in the country. And I think you'll appreciate that and just how easy and, and helpful it is going to be for you purchasing the vehicle. So uh, don't forget you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. Uh, and that way you can contact us at either by text message or by phone if you have any questions. Uh, if you want to know what we have available, maybe what's coming in, we can let you know. Uh, a lot of the vehicles we have on our website, some of them will be dealer ordered, uh, which means that we know that they're already built. We're just waiting for them to get to the dealership. You can call us and we can let you know how soon it's expected to be at the dealership too, uh, if you're wanting to know about that vehicle. So uh, that's that I think you're going to find real helpful uh, as well there. Now do, uh, if you haven't had a chance, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, of course it's uh, youtube.com forward slash Law MacArthur. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell. And that way you'll be notified every time we have a new video uploaded to our YouTube channel. And we do videos like this uh, on our, on our website every day. Also, we'll do an individual video on all of our Lincoln vehicles too. So those will be on there as well uh, that you can get notified when those videos come up there. And if you're while, while you're there and you're watching this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Let other people know that you like this video. Tell me what you think of the new 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Do you like the look? Do you like some of the features that they brought to this? Are, they, are you just glad that they finally brought uh, up to date the uh, 18 Navigator? And uh, are you, do you want one? Uh, you know, let me know. Give me that thumbs up. Leave those comments down in the video as well. I like to hear those and get that feedback from you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really uh, glad to be able to give this video to you and let you know the new features and what standards was optional on that 2018 Lincoln Navigator Reserve. Mm -hmm.